Oh, oh, that's a brook cow. Get in the net. Ooh, it's a wham ski. Hello everyone, I'm Kirk with Kirk's Outdoors Adventures. Today, we're going out and doing some brook trout and brown trout fishing in a small stream. Oh! oh. Let's go! Sorry, Cam. Ooh, the camera was on. Dang. Kind of just yanked him right out of the water because I ain't been having very good luck. That was a pretty nice brook trout. Beautiful little brook trout. Well, guys, I spent a long time out here today, and this is the best fish I've gotten so far. Put him back in that. We'll probably get one more look at him. And then, uh,. We'll get a release on I just like flipped it in over this little branch and he come out and hammered it and I just yanked him over the branch he went flying in the air reeled it in <coughs> got my net out scooped him in the net that was hectic all right that was a nice brook trial let's we got a lot of river left here on the state land let's keep moving up and see what we can find One thing I like to do in these smaller streams is check the water temperature. I like to do it almost in every stream. So I'm going to hold this in here like this for a minute. All right, after a second, after a second dip in there, it's more around 52 it looks like. So we're around 50 degrees, 52. I like to check these smaller streams just to see because this is more of a brook trout stream than a brown trout stream, but they're both in here. So, about 52 in a little bit. We'll check it again to see if the sun comes out at all, if it goes up a bunch, if they start biting more. It's the only way to learn how to fish for fish like this is to test the water and get out there and do it. Make some mental notes, write stuff down if you have to. That's how you learn when the fish are biting. Yeah, it feels about like 50 on the feet. Especially on a 60 degree day. <laughs> Sneaky sneak 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 out here. There's some of this. Like I did the other day. I was just at this spot the other day. Had some nice bites right here. Boom. First cast in the net. Dude, I'm gonna put you back. Just let me pick you up. See, look how pretty he is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Had to do a little repair to my net. I lost a real pretty brook trout out of that hole the other day, so I tied it shut today. Put that clip in now where I lost that fish through the net. Just lost my first fish through the hole in the net. God, it was pretty too. Dang it. I just wanted to get some pictures. It's just one of those days. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Camera wasn't on, but look at this little guy. He's kind of weird, right? Red orange stripe down his side. He's got a. Orange stripe down his side. 
Very cool little fish. Probably the smallest one I've caught in these videos. Cute little guy. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get your face out of the mud, dude. Get your face out of the mud. <laughs> Those are fun to catch. People are like, you're crazy. That's fun. Well, yeah, it is. You know? Takes skill to catch a fish that small. <laughs> Alright, I gave this hole about five minutes to chill after I snagged that bush. Let's cast in there now and see. Pretty sure I've seen a fish come out and look. Let's get a little bit closer, a little bit, a little bit. Oh shit, baby deer. Oh no. He swam across. Hopefully you guys can see that. He just went in the deep hole and get out of there. Oh god. Sorry little one. I didn't that's twice in the last two weeks I've about stepped on some baby deer. And that deer was right there. I don't know where mama is. That was kind of cool and sad all at the same time. At least he didn't get stuck in the... I was really afraid he was going to get stuck in some of that deeper water over there. Throw a little piece of worm on there and you get yourself a fish. Oh dang, a rainbow trout. Sweet. Look at that little thing. If I could catch a brown, I could go for the trifecta. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. In the water he goes. Dude, that's sweet. I was wondering if there was little rainbows in here. I mean, there's always a chance. I've never caught a Grand Slam in one day. So, uh... Sounds like that could be the mission. I'm looking for a brown. Guys, the white camera wasn't on, but I just nabbed up this with another little rainbow. So now that's two rainbows. A couple brook trout. Still looking for a brown trout today. I already have a brown trout in this video, so technically in this video, I got the Grand Slam. But I want to get it today, otherwise it doesn't count, right? So let's keep pushing up, get this guy back. He gone? Whoa, 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 whoa. Now he's gone. He flipped around, swam upside down, went this way, that way. All right. Now he's back over here. He's right there on the edge. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's a little confused. That's awesome. I had never caught rainbows in here before. I never looked to see if it was wild or a stocked one. I'll have to double check the footage. Double check the footage to see if it was a wild one. Or a stock one. No, dude, that was like a twelve to fifteen inch brook trout just completely smashed me. Oh my. Oh my God. So frustrating. So frustrating. I've been out here for like five hours, caught like five fish and 
And I got stuff in my net, so I couldn't get to my net fast enough. Garbage that I picked up. Oh, just. I also need to get a lighter action rod. Need to get an ultralight rod for some brook trout fishing because this light action just seems like it snaps back too fast. It needs to just stay limp, you know? <laughs> it's not what she said. Damn it, dog. God. I could, it was like stuck on a stick down there. <sighs> I just not had good luck. Just have not had good luck. All right, well, here's that hole. I was standing like right here. I flipped it up there in the sandy part and just let it roll down in there. I got hit underneath this log right here. Oh man. Guess you can't, can't get down and out. We can't catch them all. Just keep working up. There's another one in here. I'm gonna find him. Gotta stay positive. This has gotta go out of my net. Look at this glass I found. That's nice. I'm laying right in the water. Some kid come along and step on that. Run around barefoot or something. <sighs> Another rainbow. Oh. A brookie this time, a brookie, back to brookies. Let's go. That's what I came out here to fish for. <clears throat> A little bit bigger one. Let's get the hook out and get them back. Camera wasn't on again, but that one, oops, the string stuck out. That one there's got some super nice color, pink belly. Beautiful little fish, let's get them back home. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, there it goes. Sweet. Still catching them, still catching them. Haven't got that 12 plus inch brook trout though, that's what I'm going for. I still want that and I still want a brown trout to complete the to complete the grand slam in one stream. Dude, that looked like a nice rainbow trout right there. I don't know if you guys seen it, but see if he comes back. He didn't hit the hook, so. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a brook trout. Get in the net. Woo! 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 That's what we've been looking for. Let's go. Let's go! Let's stinking go! Yeah! Alright guys, I just caught this. I'd say almost, I'd say about 12 inch brook trout. I want you guys to get a good look. Pretty nice brookie. 
All right, guys, that was a heck of a brookie. Still got quite a bit of fishing up here ahead of me yet. It's like six. Maybe the bite's turning on. Let's get out there and catch us some more fish, yo. Lots of river left. Let's go. Yeah. Guys, I just caught that brook trout right here. I just cast right in there, and there's another nice fish in there. The mosquitoes are out in full force, though. Got him. Boom. That was a rainbow I seen the first time. That was a rainbow I seen the first time. I thought so. It really had looked like the first one that came out flying after it was a rainbow. And then boop, the second fish in there is a rainbow. He's got himself all tangled up. Yeah, that's not a bad little wild rainbow. Looks like he's been caught before, unless I tore him up that bad, or he, maybe he did it when he was in the net. Thanks. Thanks for playing. Oh, that's two better fish. Two best fish out of the same hole. Another brookie, let's go. Heck yeah, this one's got a nice pink belly. Nice little brookie. Oh, he's not closing his mouth. I hope his jaw didn't break on that. There he goes. He gone. I did it again, you guys. Look. Turn that camera off. And we'll show wham ski. That one's I think this one's a little bit smaller than the last. It actually feels thicker though. Huh. He's a hungry fella. It's actually a little bit thicker, I think, but look. It's literally got something hanging out of its mouth. Half a fish hanging out of its mouth. Oh, oh good release. There he goes. Right back under there. He's He's got a mouthful of mouthful of fish and still tried to eat that lure boy he's a hungry fella but dang it no stinking camera on. this is getting ridiculous I got the worst luck in the world today the only time I catch anything is when the camera's not on been trying to just leave it on too that's the bad part <laughs> that was a nice fish too 
That was a nice brookie. Probably about 12 again. Real close. 11, 12 entry. Ah, another one. This little guy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Little rainbow, little rainbow, little rainbow, little rainbow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get him back, get him back, get him back. He's okay. Dang. Mr. Brown Trout. Where are you at? <clears throat> I'm about done here. I think this hill right here leads me right up to the road where I walk back. I haven't seen another good place to cast. Alright guys, that's going to do it for the small stream fishing. I think I hit three streams, three different days, and I caught an abundance of brook trout, a couple browns, some rainbows today. Uh, it's actually starting to get dark here, and I got to figure out my way out of here. I've been out here for like six hours just walking up this river, so according to my Onyx maps, I'm closest to the road I'm going to get, so I'm just going to go straight through the woods till I hit the road, and I'm going to follow it. Thank you guys for joining me, and we'll see you on the next one.